Bible says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It says if you do this, you will be saved. It's God's promise. It doesn't say maybe or probably or eh, you have to be a good person and let's see if your good deeds outweigh your bad deeds. It says you will be saved so you can trust God's promise. Why? The Bible says, For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, if you really did this, and you meant it with a sincere heart, Remember, when you pray, God looks at your heart with your intentions and what you're really thinking. You can't hide anything from Him. But if you really meant it, then you are saved. Not because you go to church, not because you grew up in a Christian home, not because you're a preacher, not because of anything that you can do. You are only saved because of the grace of Jesus Christ. Because He went and He died on the cross for your sins. He took the punishment that you should have got. He took it on Him and He died. We cannot save ourselves. We are not good. None of us are. Not me and not you. Sometimes people think, well, I am good. I'm not as bad as that guy or this guy. And that's the problem because we compare ourselves to other people. But if you compare yourself to God, to God's standard, God is holy. He is perfect. Isaiah 64 verse 6 says, But we are all like an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are like filthy rags. Whew, filthy rags. So those deeds that you think are good are like filthy rags in front of God. You see, I'm not better than you. I still fall short of the glory of God, and I sin, I fall. So we cannot save ourselves, only God can. And that's why He is the only one that can justify us the moment when we believe in Him. Romans 3 verse 21 says, But now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God, through faith in Jesus Christ, to all and on all who believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Take my life and let it be consecrated.